Hello everyone, my name is Oscar, I'm the teacher of computer science. My channel helps the students to do computer science assessment. Subscribe, like, share and comment to get more new videos. Let's go right now. Assessment number one. Question number one. What is cybersecurity? Phishing? Ransomware? Malware? Social engineering? Question number two. Compare and contrast worms and viruses. Question number three. How to make your computer system secure? Question number four. What is the similarity and the difference between a password and a pin? Question number five. Suggest some symptoms of infected the computer. Marking a guide or just answers. First question. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. Phishing is the practice of sending fraudulent emails that resemble emails from legitimate sources. So this means that the cyber criminals send an emails which is like from a trustable source and when you, you, you open the email attachment you will be required to provide your credential information like password or credit cards and when you enter your credential information it will be recuperated by by the the computer cyber criminal ransomware is a type of malicious software that is designed to ex, ex to extort money by blocking access to files or the computer system until the ransom is paid so what do you understand by ransom ransom refers to the amount of money that you pay for hostage this means that once you want to open or to access your files you will be required to pay some amount of money and once you pay or not, your files should not be recovered because they have been attacked. Malware is a type of software designed to gain unauthorized access or to cause damage to a computer. This means that malware is a bad software which can be used by the hackers or cyber criminals to gain access or to access to the files, document or other type of information without permission from the user. <coughs> social, social engineering is a tactic that enemies use to trick you into revealing sensitive information. So for this case, a social engineer is like someone who creates a friendship with you with the target of stealing your private information. So that is the meaning of a social engineer. Number two. Comparison between viruses and worms. Key elements for comparison. Definition. 
A computer virus is a malicious program that connects to a legal program in order to harm the computer system or a network. This means that the computer viruses attach to computer programs and when the computer programs are executed by the CPU, the computer virus will also executed and harm computer programs and the other components of a computer. Worms, rather than committing damaging operations, it consumes a system's resources to bring it down. So the worms are self-deprecating piece of code but which can not attach to other programs. They remain with their mothers, they are continue to deprecate till the system component crashes. Remotely controlled. You can not control the computer viruses at a distance computer because the computer viruses are transmitted from one computer to another one by using some, some, um, some methods like, like uh, transmitting if infected files by using USB flash disks and so on. But worms can be remotely controlled because the worms attack computer networks. Spread rate. So the way the computer viruses are spreading is moderate compared to the ways the worms are spreading. Worms are spreading very fast because they are attacking computer networks and remember that the computer network refers to the interconnected of computers which are sharing information and resources. Purpose. The virus are able to modify the files or information. But the worms hurt the CPU, memory and the other resources. So they should make this component to crash. Execution. Viruses are independent of the file transfer. It means that the virus do not remain together with the Yamada viruses because they spread all over, all over the parts of the computer. Worms self duplicate without need for human intervention. Number three, in order to keep your system data secure and safe, you should take the following measures. Always keep a backup of your data. Backup means the copy of data on an external storage device like external hard disk, etc. Install firewall software and keep, keep it updated every time. A firewall is either a piece of software or hardware whose target is to block unauthorized access or unauthorized entrance within a given computer system. Make use of strong and difficult to crack passwords. So you have to create complex passwords. And remember that a password refers to a secret word or phrase containing capital letters and small letters, numbers and special characters. 
install antivirus or anti spyware and keep it updated every time the antivirus detect and remove computer viruses time rescan your complete system so you have to take a time and scan the complete system on a time before installing a program check whether it is safe to install to install it take extra caution when reading emails that contain attachment so before opening an email containing attachments make sure that the email is from legitimate source number four the difference between a password and a pin pin means personal identification number password means a secret word or phrase which can be used to log on a computer resources or to have access on a given computer system resource so the similarity is that like a password a pin allows you to prove that you are you so that no one else can access your data the difference is that pin is limited to the sequence of numbers only whenever a password is a combination of digits from 0 to 9 uppercase and lowercase letters and special symbols Number five, symptoms of malware or just the signs showing which can show you that your computer has been infected by malware or computer viruses. Frequent freezing or crashing. So there is unwanted sound, repeating sound modify the or delete the files you should open you should switch on your computer and you lose some files programs running without your consent so some programs should be opened involuntary programs closing without your consent it means that the running programs should be closed without the wish of the user. Change in your security settings. Unusual emails or social media messages being sent without your permission to a large audience. Pop-up advertisements. Your default search engine has been changed without you altering it. New toolbars in the web browser. Browser links redirect to the wrong pages. So you want to, to access a given web page, but because of the presence of malware, you access another one so thank you for watching thank you for being for watching this video we will see next time but don't forget to subscribe like share and comment to get more videos thank you very much